uh, I have a challenge here. Uh, I'm a Brazilian guy, so my English is not so good. I, I try to, in five minutes, give some thoughts here about forest management. So, uh, in Brazil, when we are talking about forest management, normally we think about four, uh, four areas. We discuss process, uh, and maybe if process for forest management in Brazil can be slightly different from here uh, in North America. Tools, uh, what we do, uh, for develops uh, information systems uh, for management. Uh, people, for example, we have clients that are create a new plant uh, and they start from a greenfield project buying like uh, 100, 150,000 hectares for planting eucalyptus for in five years supplying a new plant with 6 million tons per year and the management model that can support uh, the everything. So. Uh, I will not go in detail over this because uh, tomorrow I have another presentation, but for, for us business process is start since creating the seedlings or the cuttings for nursery until uh, delivering the wood for the plants, use different logistics. And you have partnership programs as well, but uh, for uh, being able of managing everything, uh, you have like a process definition to create a standard, a standard process standard steps since budgeting and defining resources, uh, defining procurement, the stocks ma uh, management, and all the operations, all the operation, uh, quality control, and everything. So uh, when you hire like 200 new employees and you have like three months for training them, you have to create standard process for uh, reach these, these tasks. Uh, this is uh, one example of the screen of uh, one of our tools, this, uh, uh, the My Forest. Uh, I can show more in detail outside. And uh, here I, I try to give some examples of uh, the forest management uh, rating. This is one example of, of how to create uh, a simple way of checking each compartment or each stand if you are following the planned cost for each one. For example, here, uh, if you hear here, uh, for example, oh, let me return. Uh, you can define a land use management, for example, if you are, you are going to buy a farm and you have like uh, a target of 6% of land use for planting and it's a mechanized area, so uh, it's a good soil, you have a good precipitation there, you can give a, a rating for that stand. After that, we define uh, a prescription. Uh, for example, I, I have to go to the field six times, seven times in two years and performing a lot of operations to have a, a yield of, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 cubic meters per year. And uh, if I'm following this or not. At the end, the supply, uh, the wood supply, for example, if we are planning to harvest with seven years, you have like a harvester uh, productivity, but if you decide to, to harvest one or one and a half year before, the, the, the harvester cost will be like 20% higher. So uh, how can we check if we are accomplished or not good results in forest planning in short rotation cycles? For example, if you are following uh, the prescriptions, if you have operational uh, productivity as planned, and if the quality is okay or not. We are discussing about statistics. These graphics show, for example, two years. Uh, this is a timeline. You have here the days and a lot of activities that you have to do. Forestry for us in South America is like uh, a crop. So it's a quite intensive activity. So uh, here we are checking, for example, the fertilizing, if we are following what are we planted or not. For example, if, if we are going to a dry season and we are not in, going on time for fertilizer, uh, we must be wa uh, wasting money. And here, other examples. For example, uh, you can create clusters based on the soil type and based on well, in which clone we are planting there. 